OT7 Championship is here. Oh! There is nowhere to hide. Go three out of one championship. And when it comes to Cali Power and Midwest Boots, that was a huge hit off the field. You do not want to get between those two teams. Try my football again. If you do some shit like that, you're going to get hit right in your mouth. So it's a week before the championship. Figure we have Bear and Luke over one last time uh, with Coach Pettis. He's better than him, hype. Fill the corner out. Just do a little bit more game review. In seven on seven, the quarterbacks control the game. So going to this tournament, it's a dual QB system. And we're both good quarterbacks, so it's just like he goes in, they go score, I go in, we go score. This is red zone. He knows this we do this all the time. So it's double slant arrow. There's always competition. You know, I think that obviously Luke has been playing with, with California Power throughout the whole seven on circuit. He knows that he's a 2026 and I'm a 2025 and uh, just continue to keep striving to, to be the top dog in the country. It's the championship and I feel like we've been there in all the other tournaments and this is the tournament that we will win. Chet, you do this. You want to win championships? You got to make that catch and you got to make that throw. We went over some of the old film in Orlando and went over some of the film in Baltimore. Oh, he had his man wide looking. <gasps> Dealing with the dramatics of some of the other previous games. When we played Midwest Boom in Baltimore, I ended up throwing a pick. They ended up signing my football, writing boom on my football. I brought myself a nice little permanent marker. Their coach decides to take out a Sharpie. JR signed the football and threw it back. And sign my quarterback's football. I'm gonna give them that J.R. Nicklaus autograph that is worth 99 cents on eBay and make that ball more expensive. Not okay with that. Not okay with that one bit. Got something for you. Coach Porter very, very dislikes Midwest Bill. I know where I'm from. You do some shit like that, you're gonna get hit right in your mouth. And then that's how tournaments get shut down. The stage is set in LA for the OT7 championship. Our 12 finalists are divided into two groups of six. Win your group, and you're a top two seed with a bye for Sunday's single elimination bracket. But you gotta hate losing more than you enjoy winning. I'm excited to check out Group A today, headlined by the hometown team, Cali Power. Let's give it up for the home squad, Cali Power! It's amazing running out that time though. We are coming out hype. We got to show out. They're trying to steal your thunder. They're trying to embarrass you in front of all your fans, all your family. Straight down. Business. Business. And we're getting ready to play against level 82. They do a good job. Former NFL football player. I think he's got two Super Bowl rings. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. God bless. Yes, and we knew we were going to be for a fight. And our history was we played them the week prior. They were on fire. Oh. They scored on three third downs and they converted on two of the blitzes. Level 82. Oh, he got in there. And when that happens, the writing's kind of on the wall. They really destroyed us. I'm not going to lie. But we play in Cali. This is our home turf. Hey, dominate this. Hey, be up on me. Be up on three. One, two, three. Be up. Here we go. Here we go. We were flying around. With the bag, boy. Coming up, you a bell hop. You ain't done enough. Can't run with us. We a hundred plus. Simple alignment, assignment, execution football. Watching the noise. We the ones making the noise. And we did what what we knew we can do. We the ones making the noise. We the ones making the noise. You had to be silent. That's why Jeremiah McClellan may be the best receiver in the country. Against level 82. I mean, we just were hitting on all cylinders. We handed our first pull play game, and now we're squaring up to face Midwest Boom. Now let me get that boom clap! Yeah, boom! This is a matchup that we've been waiting for since OT7 in Baltimore. We got California Power at home facing off against Midwest Boom. Man, I'm excited for this matchup. We got two great coaches. Ryan Porter, Coach JR for Midwest Boom, they might fight each other. Let's get it around. I'm a hugger, not a thugger. And let them know, hey, tell them, sign my football again. 
Or how about can we just go over there and tell him not throw an interception and then yeah. we will never have to worry about it. His feelings were hurt uh, because I put a little ink on a ball. This is gonna be a fun game. We got California Power on the ball first, 22 minutes on the clock, let's get to it. Work down the field, kiss the ugly girl, and then a good looking one pops wide open, baby. That's a good touchdown, not right there. That is a big boy right there. That is a tight end, Ethan Barber. Two plays, starting off and getting the touchdown. And hey, we got my guy, a quarterback here for Boom. What's his name? Alessio Miliovacic. No <laughs> close I'm enough. close. QB1, Alessio, another homegrown kid, another built not bot kid. I love his accuracy. Some of the throws he makes is incredible. Hey, D, let's go. Come on, let's go. You got to start reroute. Reroute. Now let's go. I am excited because Bear Bachmeyer <laughs> is in at quarterback for California Power. Let's see what Bear Bachmeyer can do out here. Nice. Good job. You know, it's an offensive game. It's it's made for the offensive score, so we just gotta go out there and stop them. Hey, let's go now, D! They're blitzing right here. Third down, and Bear Bachmeyer can't escape. Boom, takes the lead. Got him! Got him! Off the field! JR intense as ever, yelling at the sleeves cut off. Seven. Not looking good. Nice catch over the middle for Boom. Come on, D! Hey, talk! Make sure we talk! Just outside the hands. There you go. Good, good, D. Oh, here we got a blitz. Oh. Ooh. Another turnover. Tie ball game, 9 9. We were tied up. We're back on offense. We got a shot downfield. Oh. with a big third down and Quasi Gilmer says give me that. What a move. If you just hit them with a little simple route and it gets them that easy, it just motivates your whole team. He's unbelievable. I'm feeling great. I'm just locked in. First and goal, Cali Power on the move. Oh. Touchdown there for California Power. They take the lead, 16 to nine. We knew we had to go out there and score right away, which ended up not happening, and that was that was a tough moment in this game for sure. Uh, Good stop there from California Power as they are starting to take a commanding lead in this game. Woo! What a move! Very crucial down in the game here. Midwest Boom needs a stop. Bachmeyer over the middle. He's wide open. Touchdown! He threw up a prayer, but his, his guy ended up being wide open. That's perfect. That's a perfect read. Nice job. Got the butterflies out, and I'm just dealing. Hey, we're playing catch today. We're not playing drop. We're playing catch today, dog. Coach JR, very upset on the sideline. OK, let's go. We got, we got Midwest Boom on the money drive, by the way. They score here. They'll get 10 points, but they still will at, be at a six-point deficit. So they need, they need to score this, and they need a big stop. He shot there, right? Let's go. I'm Aaron Stewart. Ooh, out of bounds there. Ooh, a little double pass here. He's on the money drive. Oh, what a pass breakup. Cali Power defending home turf. Yeah, man, Beautiful that's, play that's gonna... there by Sean Williams. And they and that was, they stopped the money drive. So they get Stop the points? money drive. That's four points four for points. the stop. They take a 20 point lead here in this game. We weren't making smart decisions on offense. We weren't running crisp routes. And the score showed it. Hey, money ball, money ball. You're up 29-9, there's 10 seconds left, and you make the decision to call your, your money drive. Damn right, yeah. Let's go, let's have fun with this one, right? Coach Porter wants to run up the score and blow him out as badly as he can. Them calling the money drive with about 10 seconds left, already being up 20, 25 points, something like that. Obviously, they want to put it on us after how close it was in Baltimore, and it is what it is. I feel like we would do the same, I can't lie. California Power completely dominates this game, and they look like a really, really solid team. Maybe the team to beat here at the OT7 Championship in Los Angeles. Then at the end of the game, the other coaches shook hands, good game, you know, but he didn't even come shake our hand. It's a beating right there. I am a sore loser. I don't shake hands. 
I don't like any coach I'm facing. You're trying to take what is mine. You're trying to take money from my pocket. All the work that I've put in. I don't like anybody I face. Karma's a b I guess this time, his name was Power. <laughs> That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Scoring nine points is completely embarrassing and unacceptable. Okay? You either want it or you don't. The theme all year, you either see boom on a 10 or you see boom on a one. There's no middle ground with our performance this year. And unfortunately there, we weren't consistent. I didn't even mean to throw it. Gotta keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Group one going right now, playing in pool play, and we got our last game yeah. of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Destroying team pressure. We got talent, we got dogs. We just gotta bark, man. Let's go, what? Facing off against Midwest Boom. There's good and bad with playing back-to-back -back games. If you win that first game, it's like a halftime. Boom, halftime speech, that momentum carries over. On the flip side, if you lose, that momentum will also carry over. I want you to be so blatantly disrespectful with how you play. Make this a defensive game. I just feel like the energy needed to shift a lot because we were low key down after that California power game. We go after it every single time. Boom. You know, for us going into pressure, I felt when we played them in Arizona, there was a lot of emotion. And how does the head ref not know? The Deuces coach just got thrown out. Oh! The history with Midwest Boom is back at the OT7s in Arizona. They got us out of there early. Touchdown! Oh my goodness! And it was pretty much a statement game for them. They, they beat us pretty good. Alicio is throwing dots! We beat them by a good amount, so going in, we're really confident and excited to play them again. Yeah. We kind of remember that bad taste they left in our mouth, so this opportunity to get back at them. Let's go! So, who y'all got in this game, man? I think pressure plays around too much early in games. One of these days, a team is actually just going to take it to them. Big pickup there on first down. I'm out there doing what I do best, crispy routes. Hey man, our whole comment section right now is about Amarion Stewart asking about his college commitment. I've been actually been in the recruiting process since I was in eighth grade, so that's about five years in my top four. Michigan, Tennessee, and Wisconsin at work. Rumor is he should be looking to commit to one of these big colleges here pretty soon. So here we got Midwest Boom here on the goal line. Hey, let's go out! Touchdown in the end zone for Midwest Boom. We need to get in a rhythm on offense, and I felt like you know getting us touchdown the first drive is huge. Seven on seven is a simple game. You score every drive, you stop the pony, you win. A lot of good ball. Almost intercepted there. Come on, Deuce Luckin, you good, bro. You good, you good, you good. I almost had that pick, but one of our players smacked me in the face. It hurt, I dropped the pick so fast. Pretty ugly third down right here. They need to get some yardage. The blitz is coming, we're running Charleston. Wayne, Wayne was just in the middle wide open. Run that scene and look for the ball quick. Oh, almost another interception here. Get the ass down, boy! Here we go again. Midwest Boom just comes out swinging, hitting on all cylinders. Hey, JR, this is going to happen next time a ball comes my way. Hey, let's go, let's go. Oh, I hope you do. Sloppy game here for pressure early on. We just weren't on our A game and um, allowed us to get hit in the mouth early. Midwest Boom's going to take over on down. Oh, oh, to add to their oh, lead. Oh, Alessio finds his guy over the middle. That's going to be a first down and goal. I feel like I'm more confident. I'm more relaxed. My eyes are seeing the full field, and defense is getting stops. Offense is scoring. When both of us are playing together, I feel like we're unstoppable. Hey, man, I got Coach with me right now, man. Coach, y'all locked in. Y'all playing some good football right now. What is the mojo? What is the secret? What's going on behind it? You know, for us, it's faceless opponents, and we're just trying to work, OK? We got the break speed off us last game, all right? We went into it complacent. Unfortunately, this team has to suffer the consequences. Money drive here for team pressure. They need to get on the board here. They need to get something going. 
and now we're cooking again. There's a little bit of confidence back there for my guys, for my offense. We go down there, we hit the money ball drive. Look, hey, they're still in this. They need to stop here, though. They need to stop. Do not let the foot off the f***ing gas. All right, here we go. The momentum can shift at any time, and uh, we, we know we had to go out there on offense and score again just to put them away. Boom, on the outside. Oh, he's taking off of the sideline. Almost got a three right there. Pressure just came with us. Yeah. Deuces or pressure. Take it both weak. <laughs> hey, quiet, take an eat. Pool play is all about lessons. It's about growing. Know that good is the enemy of great, but it was a good day. It's continued to climb. We knew that we had to take learning steps to get to the national championship of OT7. And when I say tick tick, y'all say boom, tick tick. Boom. But we had to get to work. The goal of watching film is that not only do you not make the same mistake, but all 11 of you don't. So when we're coaching one, we're coaching all. We still got two games tomorrow. So in this meeting, we talked about level 82. They do a lot of cross meshing. And as soon as the safeties start to crash, they're going to throw on top. So safeties, motions, call it out. Okay, call it out. Gotcha. Same thing with the legends. They do a lot of sticks concepts, which is more verticals with outs. Talk about our main coverage. Check Ram, check Ram, check Ram. Simple as that. If I could take away any team's best play, you won't beat me with your second best play. You won't. We have to make plays. We have to create turnovers. We have to create third downs. We have to if we want to win. I wanted them to build confidence, and then I wanted to prepare them uh, to the best of my ability. Because it's not what I know, it's what they know. Yeah. I felt at OT7 last year, we saw success early on, and our kids turned from it being a business trip to being a vacation. So this tournament, we imp implemented a bed check. Everybody was texting in the group chat, you know, everybody was trying to run to their room. Lockie, you better hurry, you got 30 seconds. And then they wonder why they get tired the next day. Bro, what are you doing? I was, I was at, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, what, how does that make any sense with curfew at 10? I'm gonna go old school for what my coach did when we were in college, and you put the duct tape on the door. And if this duct tape is removed, they are removed from playing tomorrow. See, our kids are sleeping. They're out partying. Eight hours of sleep always should be six hours of sleep. Why y'all waiting? <laughs> oh, hey, duct tape on the door and the windows. Just because it's, just because you two are in here. We only have one room complain about our uh, bed check duct tape. Y'all be good. No, try me. All right, all the doors are secured, so we can secure the bag tomorrow. Welcome to day two of pool play in beautiful Los Angeles, California for the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. Yesterday's action was intense as we saw the best seven on seven teams in the country prove why they earned their spot here to this championship. And today, it's the last chance for these teams to prove why they need a higher seating come Sunday at Bracket Play where we will be crowning our OT7 champion. Create the energy. I don't care if they score 50 points or zero points. There's a Marion Store right there, one of the most talented receivers we've seen this year at OT7. He's leaving his team. I don't know where he's going. It's looking like he's about to make his college decision right here. 
here it is right here. He's taking it off. We're gonna see it's Michigan. <laughs> I'm headed to Michigan, Ann Arbor, big house. Amar Allen Stewart, my guy, man. He was going to commit this weekend in front of Jim Harbaugh at the University of Michigan. And he said, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I'm going to commit with my boom brothers at OT7. What went into the decision? Uh, you know, I've been to Michigan a few times. And when I just went there, it felt like home. Who, who, who was behind the Wolverine, bro? Where, where the Wolverine come from? Oh, that's Pop? To see my family there smiling and making them happy, it was pretty special. I love the fact you did it here. It was the first time any any of this, like, ever happened. So I think you set a trend. I can't wait to see what he does at Michigan. Right now, we've got level 82 and Midwest Boom. Now, both teams are 2-1, and one, and both are within striking distance of jumping up in the standings. Greatness isn't determined by the circumstance. You are great no matter what you do, so be great every single play. With the first game and the second game, it's bang, bang. So for us, it was really about starting fast. We had to make sure we won game one. Empty the tank and leave everything you have on this field today. Hey, let's go! Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Boom here with the first and goal. Lesio puts his man, Marion Stewart, in motion. Looking for a guy over the middle. He looks for Marion back in the end zone. In the end zone, Marion Stewart. Touchdown, Midwest Boom, as they take the lead here. Quarterback Gavin Sidwar dropping back. Level 82 finds his man wide open over the middle, trying to make a move. Oh, and he did! Oh! Unbelievable catch and run there by Brandon Finney Jr. Inside the five yard line, Gavin Sidwar looking for another touchdown on his record. And there it is right there. Easy bucket in the end zone for level 82. Wide open in the end zone. Gets a touchdown. They're doing everything that we saw, everything we talked about to execute. But we just weren't doing our jobs and weren't matching. It's just stuff that would make a coach mad. We just weren't doing it. Wake the up and let's go. Turn the energy. Now we got a touchdown from Midwest Boom with the deuces in the man's face wide open. Boom will take the lead again. He finds his man wide open in the end zone. We got a shootout, man. With both offenses clicking, who's gonna step up on D to win this game? Oh! That's Joey O'Brien. That is his fifth interception this week. Their best defender. Don't throw to that guy. He will bait you and then explode. And he's got like literally eight feet long arms. He will attack it. Shit. You got it. You got it. Got it. Answer up. Answer up. Answer up. But we kept grinding, we kept fighting, and we still put ourselves in a position. Big third down here for Boom, just a minute and 30 seconds remaining. They're gonna blitz. Look at that, oh my goodness! Omari um, um, Hunstor almost caught that ball. Unbelievable attempt at a catch right there. Going into the last drive for level 82, it was a huge possession. Key thing here is getting a stop. We are down one. If we get the stop, we get two points and win the game. They really need to pick up this first down. They got to get to the 25-yard line. We control our destiny. You catch it, pass the sticks, you win. You don't, we win. Looking downfield, and he catches it in the end zone. Guy's wide open, catches it, scores. We take the L. Defense just couldn't get the stop we needed, and that was that. We took that L. Hey, boom, right here! You know, it was a close game. You know, we put our all into that game. So he was still a little bit upset, but he was like, shake it off. You got one more game! Had to hurry up and flip the switch. Now we're playing Legends. This was a must win game. Their back's against the wall. They haven't won a game yet. I knew they were better than what their record showed. Oh! That was a huge hit, but it's a touchdown for Carl Lewis. Touchdown for the legends. Same 
things that I could say went wrong against level 82 went wrong against Legends. Terry Hedden right into the hands of Jerry Gibson. Touchdown. Busted coverages, things that we've been teaching these kids forever. Terry Hedden, a little sidearm action, and he gets it into the end zone. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be game. After a promising start on day one, Midwest Boom ends pool play at two and three. They'll be the seventh seed come Sunday, and based on what we saw today, I'll be honest, I don't expect them to make a lot of noise. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable what we did today. Now back's against the wall. Now a lower seed. Now gotta be underdog times two. Now for us, a two and three, we have to make those three L's, those three losses into lessons. We, we must. I'm here for a business trip. I'm here to win a ship, but I can't go on the field. So it's up to you. You take all 23 of you, come together as one. Build from this, build from this. That's unacceptable. Break it down, do whatever you need to do. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. This next game, though, we got pressure. Destroying team pressure, taking on California Power. Cali Power had some epic victories on day one, including a 37-16 dub over Team Toa. Busting out the new uniforms today. With a win versus pressure, Cali Power will win the group. Pressure could use a win to build some confidence for bracket play, that's for sure. Man, listen, we here now, we feeling good. The team in jail a little bit more. We got all the nonsense out the way, I believe. Quarterback's feeling good. Let's go win something today, man. And here we go. Pressure have been slow out of the gate all week, but they're looking good from the jump. First hey, 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 pressure, we're not talking to nobody. We're not complaining about no calls. We're playing football, all right? Great catch, son. Deuce is hitting on all cylinders. We scored. I'm feeling good. Here we go. Offense right here. Yeah. You know, Cali Power trying to move the ball here. This defense is keeping an eye on Quasi Gilmer, but Power's got weapons all over the field. Look at over the top. Oh! It's a touchdown there. Oh, it's a touchdown. They come out, they're hitting on all cylinders. They scored. Oh. Incomplete pass. They get a two-point stop, you know, on defense. They go up 9-7. Our defense comes out, gets a stop. Oh, almost intercepted. It's a 9-9 ball game at this point. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're good. Hey, listen, Priest, get him on that. That's the next play coming out. No, ball down there. Zach Sample again in the end zone. Look at that. Oh, hey. Let's go. Pressure take the lead. Are they about to hand Cali Power their first L? We have to get back on offense right away and score some points or we're going to lose this game. Luke oh. Fahey back at quarterback. Finds his man in the flat. Fahey is locked in. This one might come down to whoever gets the ball last, straight up. After power tight it, pressure is now facing a huge third down late in the game. Hey, you're hot. Blitz coming off of him. Deuce Knight feels the heat and Power gets the stop. Get the ball, get upfield. Dancing, get upfield. You kids don't know how to dance, anyways, nowadays. You guys dance with your hands. Pressure needs a huge third down stop right here to tie the game, and they get it done. We're winning this, bro. Let's go, Deuce. 
tie game going right now with a minute left. Here we are again, California Power coming down to the wire. Oh, Jake Campbell! Oh, he's wide open! Yeah, we just, we just didn't make the right play call. Touchdown! After taking down pressure, Power, who notoriously does not care about pool play, finishes pool play perfect with a big win over Legends. First time we've ever went undefeated in pool play. I feel like we have a very, very good shot of winning this whole thing. And things have gone from bad to worse for pressure. They lose their final game to Toa without scoring a single touchdown. At some point, y'all gonna lock up. Somebody gotta break through. When are we going to break through? Nobody has us as a threat at this point, but we still got to come out here and play on Sunday. We're going to figure out how to win the championship. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I think this this group really loves each other. They're just really good cohesiveness and chemistry. Just got a good feeling about it. Hey, look at look at this though. Look at this. I, we need one. We need one. Hey, camera, let me talk to you. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. <laughs> They Zoom in on that one. <laughs> Zoom in on that one. They got, they got all these cars. Zoom in on that one. You went like, hey! I'm a big visual person. Right? So if you can see it, you can achieve it. And for whatever reason, I've been having a ton of dreams about the OT7 championship. I've been having a bunch of dreams about it. Hey, check this out. Hey, he lost his shirt. All right, here I go, guys. I'm getting a phone call right now. We're going to find out. All right. Yo. Hello. Yo, what's up? We're still finalizing the bracket. Well, we want to let you know that as group winners, um, you have clinched the top two seed for bracket play. You guys are going to be the number two seed for Sunday. Right on. Appreciate that. Stuff. All right, thanks again. Hey, congrats, guys. Hey, 2C. There you go. I said if we had the opportunity to play in the OT7, you know, national championships in 2023, um, that we'd win it. I still feel that way. All right, and uniforms, we're wearing black. Mark it out. Mark it Sunday, baby. Hey, we're going to people's funerals. APR says it, what do you say? Funeral Sunday, baby! Well, look who made it to the end of the video. If you like this content, make sure you hit subscribe right there, or check out some of the other videos we got going on. And if you like how your boy looks right now, make sure you check out our shop. <laughs>